What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson and it looks like we have a release date update for Avengers Secret Wars. And not gonna lie, it's kind of disappointing. However, if you take a look at everything that Marvel Studios has planned, hopefully it won't seem like that long of a wait. Now, unfortunately, a lot has happened to put not only Marvel Studios and Disney behind, but a lot of other studios as well because of the actor and writer strikes. Plus, not to mention Marvel Studios and Disney are changing up their strategy when it comes to Disney Plus content. And we haven't heard of Marvel Studios wanting to cancel any of these projects yet, and we do know that they they have a lot planned for Disney Plus, so if they're not going to cancel any and they're going to space them further out, that of course is going to extend Marvel Phase 5 and Marvel Phase 6 to later dates. There's a lot of reasons why this could have changed, but unfortunately for us, it looks like the movie has been pushed back a few years from its original release date when Marvel Studios at San Diego Comic-Con in 2022 announced Phase 5 and Phase 6. They had Avengers Secret Wars coming out on November 7th, 2024. Five. That was the original release date. They have moved it back since, and as far as we were concerned, it was supposed to come out on May 7th of 2027. However, due to a recent insider report, we believe that it may be later than that. According to Alex P at the Cosmic Circus, we might not be getting Avengers Secret Wars until 2028. He stated in a tweet, last thing for you guys, they still need more time to cook. Hearing 2028 at the earliest, and he posted a picture of the logo, for Avengers Secret Wars. Now, Alex P has a really good track record when it comes to inside scoops. Plus, like I mentioned, there have been a lot of delays recently, so it looks like, unfortunately, this is probably the case for Avengers Secret Wars. We're probably not gonna get it till 2028. Hopefully things change and it could come out sooner, but if they're gonna take more time to make it better, to try to make it better than Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, then that makes it kind of okay that they are taking so long. However, like I mentioned, the other reason they are taking so long is is because they have so many other amazing projects coming out that are actually going to kick off Secret Wars. You see, Secret Wars was a huge event in the comics. Both Secret Wars stories are huge. And when this was first announced, a lot of fans were really, really concerned about only one movie being able to handle the story of Secret Wars. But it doesn't look like that's the case. It looks like Marvel Studios is beginning Secret Wars with other projects. And this makes a ton of sense. In the MCU, Secret Wars isn't just going to be one movie. It's going to be many different movies that make up the event of Secret Wars itself, and the final movie, the ending to it all, is going to be the actual film titled Avengers Secret Wars. But we know that it's going to start way sooner than that, and there are so many projects to be excited for that we'll go over right now. And a reminder, if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. And if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're entered for our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, and some other items. The winner picks one item, and we pick a winner at the end of each month. So as far as what is coming from Marvel Studios that is going to be a part of the overall Secret War storyline, because not all of it will, not all of the content coming from Marvel is going to directly set up or connect to Secret Wars, but there are some massive projects that are going to directly be a part of this massive story, and it starts with Loki Season 2. Now, we don't really need to spend too much time on this. Most of us know a lot about what is going to happen in Loki season two because we watched Loki season one. Loki knows that he who remains was behind the TVA and now a lot of other variants, essentially infinite amount of variants of Kang are set free and a multiversal war is coming unless he can stop Kang. So obviously this connects in a super huge way and this really is going to truly kick off secret wars. Then we have the Marvels and I know a lot of people don't think this is going to connect too much, but it is from what we've heard in the Marvels, we are actually going to see an incursion. Plus, not to mention the Bengals, one that Kamala Khan has and the other Darben has, are presumed Kang technology and could even be from another universe. And perhaps the Bengals are why an incursion is happening in the first place, but that's going to connect to the overall story of Secret Wars as well. And then we're going to really, really dive into it a lot more with Doctor Strange 3. Doctor Strange 2 already tackled incursions. They explained what they are and explained and showed us that some have already happened. And Doctor Strange 3 is going to go even further with it because Doctor Strange 2 dealt with incursions that have already happened, but Doctor Strange 3 will deal with incursions that are currently happening. And it just so happens to be that Doctor Strange himself has caused one or 
many of them. We know that Doctor Strange as a character, not just the single Doctor Strange that we know from our main universe, but multiple Doctor Stranges from other universes as well, all the variants, could be a common cause that the multiverse is collapsing. That and you know, King. But apparently Doctor Strange 3 is going to touch on a topic that was mildly touched on in Doctor Strange 2, the thought of Doctor Strange being the biggest threat to the multiverse. Him and Kang, that is apparently what Doctor Strange 3 is supposed to be about, and I'm really excited to see where they take it. Then we have a Scarlet Witch solo movie. Now, we're not 100% sure what exactly this movie is going to be about. However, most people assume that she's going to have a decent role to play in the story of Avengers Secret Wars. She read the entire Darkhold, and after all, she is the most powerful being in our universe so far that we know of. So we assume she's going to play a major role. Another person or team that we assume is going to play an insane role in Secret Wars is the Fantastic Four and Reed Richards. And actually, based off what we've heard so far, Marvel is going to be really changing things up with the Fantastic Four. We'll talk about this huge news in just a bit, but first, a big thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. DraftKings Rainmakers football is back for its second season, and it's bigger and better than ever before. If you head to DraftKings.com audio, you can sign up to play Rainmakers today using code COSMIC for your share of over $30 million in prizes this football season. And this week, new customers can claim their first pack of digital players cards for free to get started. Playing Rainmakers football is simple. Each DraftKings digital card represents an athlete and scores points based on their real world performance. Draft them into weekly contest for your shot at a share of $30 million in prizes. And one of the best parts is Rainmakers contests require no fee to join as long as you have enough cards to complete a lineup. Rip packs, build your collection, and earn big rewards. So, wondering how to get started? New customers can visit DraftKings.com audio today and use promo code COSMIC to claim a free starter pack. Again, only at DraftKings.com audio with code COSMIC. Now, what's crazy is that the recent news that we've heard about the Fantastic Four film is that this movie might not only take place back in the 1960s, but it also could take place in an entirely different universe than our main MCU, which our Avengers are in. But this makes sense because Secret Wars is about the multiverse. It's not just one universe, but a lot of different universes. So showing us the point of view from another universe is a really great idea and a great twist that will make everything really, really exciting. And it'll be fresh and it'll be new. And at the same time, it raises a lot of exciting questions like at the end of Avengers Secret Wars, if the Fantastic Four are from another universe, will they be sent back to that universe at the end or will they remain in our universe? Because we know the Fantastic Four is going to be around for a lot more than just one movie. So we assume they'll end up in our universe somehow, but we don't know, and that's what makes it exciting. And then, of course, we have Avengers, the Kang Dynasty. All the movies leading up to Kang Dynasty are still a part of the overall plot of Avengers Secret Wars, but Kang Dynasty is basically where everything hits the fan. This is where all of the events that have been happening separately come together for one huge event. And that event, of course, is to take on Kang the Conqueror. But as we know, the Avengers aren't going to win this battle and the multiverse is going to essentially be destroyed. That's why the movie Avengers Secret Wars comes after. And what's actually going to really contribute to Avengers Kang Dynasty is Deadpool 3. Based off of what we've heard so far, Deadpool 3 is essentially going to be Avengers Infinity War. And what I mean by that is Deadpool 3 is going to be its own film, but the events that take place in the movie are going to directly set up Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. They will lead right into these other two movies. And what we've heard so far about Deadpool 3 is that we are actually going to see a lot of incursions happen. And we'll see people and heroes from other universes, a lot of other universes be taken and put into one single universe. So we'll have a universe where a lot of different heroes come from other universes to be a part of. We've heard that the TVA are the people that are supposedly taking these heroes and putting them in one universe and also villains as well. The question is, why are they doing that? Are they saving them? Are they putting them there for a certain purpose? Could Kang possibly be behind it? We're unsure, but we do know that after Deadpool 3 and after the Kang Dynasty, the multiverse is essentially going to start falling apart. And from there, there are going to be movies in between the two Avengers films. Movies like Shang-Chi 2 that will also involve 
the Ten Rings, which should be King technology as well. And then we could get more movies that possibly take place in other universes, and this would make a lot of sense as the multiverse is essentially being destroyed and incursions are happening everywhere. We get movies that take place in other universes to give us their perspective because they're going to take the heroes from a lot of different universes and bring them all into one. And that is what Avengers Secret Wars is going to be. And again, a lot of people are still kind of worried that one movie might not be big enough or long enough to handle this gigantic story, but that is exactly why Secret Wars really is a culmination of a lot of different films and shows happening within Phase 5 and Phase 6, which is a really great approach, which should make us all feel a little bit more at ease. But on top of that, we have gotten some reports that Avengers Secret Wars might be split into two different parts, a part one and a part two. And this would make a lot of sense considering how much is going into Secret Wars and how intricate the details of the movie are going to actually be. I wouldn't mind at all them taking their time to tell the story, to get the story right, and them doing that by splitting the movie in two. Especially if you consider everything that is going to happen beforehand, I would rather them take their time. And hopefully we won't have to wait till 2028, but as we've shown you in this video, there are a lot of awesome projects coming out beforehand that can keep us occupied that will still be a part of Secret Wars that will kick off the Secret War storyline. But go ahead and let us know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below and let us know if you would like Avengers Secret Wars to be split into a part one and a part two. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU news. Of course, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.